Hello friends. This is a story about the three little pigs. Have you ever heard that one before? This one is told a little differently, so I'm not going to read the words. I'm going to tell it my own way. You remember what happened to the three little pigs? They started to grow up. So their mother said to them, you're getting too big for me to take care of, so you have to go out into the world and make your own way. And so they went off to seek their fortune, and they all went out to make their own little house. And so the first little pig found a man selling straw and went and built a beautiful house of straw. But guess who came? the big bad wolf. And what did that wolf do? He knocked on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in, that little pig said. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I won't let you in. And the wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And that big bad wolf blew that straw house all to pieces. Fortunately, it was a fast little pig and he ran, 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 ran to his brother's house. And so his brother found a man selling sticks and he built a house out of sticks. No sooner had he finished his tidy little house but who showed up? And what did that big bad wolf do? <laughs> little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair, my chinny chin chin. I won't let you in. Then the wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. what that big bad wolf did. He blew that little pig's house all to pieces. But that little pig was a fast runner and he ran to his sister's house. And she had come across someone selling of bricks. And she built her house nice and strong and sturdy out of bricks. Well, no sooner was she sitting down to tea and read a good book, look who showed up at the window. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I won't let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Well, that smart little pig in her sturdy house said, go ahead and try. And so the wolf did. But what do you think? He huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed and he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. And he huffed but he could not blow that sturdy house of bricks down. How do you think that wolf felt? Well, he was pretty angry and he got hungrier and hungrier watching that smart little pig make a nice beet salad. So he thought to himself, What will I do to get in? Well, that little pig started a nice pot of boiling water on her fire so she could cook her beets for beet salad. And that wily old wolf said, I know what I'll do. Climb down the chimney. What happened to him?
soon as he climbed down the chimney. He fell right into the pot of boiling water. He made a delicious wolf stew. And that was the last time the three little pigs ever saw a, that big bad wolf again. And they lived happily ever after in the sturdy house of bricks. Today, why don't you do an experiment? You can find some straw and some sticks and maybe a brick. Or if you can't find a brick, find a big sturdy rock. Put them on your table and see if you can blow down the straw, blow down the sticks, or blow down the bricks. Which one is the sturdiest? Tell me what you find out. And thanks for listening.